Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today I am here with another book review, which is known as The Wellness Sense by Om Swami. I know that you will again say why another book by the Om Swami. The reason because this book is completely different than the previous work or whatever I read, whatever literature I read from the Om Swami, this book is completely different. The name, The Wellness Sense, it's for more of a like how you think about the food, how you should treat about your body, how you treat your food or how your food affects your life or how food affects some people but some food not affect the some people so if you want to understand the food the basic behind the food or how you should treat the food how you should consume the food or what your thoughts should be there in when you consume something as a food then how that can change your life or how you can lead your healthier life if you are looking for something then the wellness sense this book is something you should read this book is really short like literally 150 pages so i have read this in the one day but i have took some of its points i have understand that how how we can make our life healthier how we can understand our life healthier and how we can if you understand the concept of the food if you understand the concept of the body if you understand the concept of the mental health then we can treat or we can make our life much much healthier why you should read book why you should read this book you know there are the some foods which harm some people and there are some those same food does not harm other people so i mean there is not there is no problem with the food because the same food has given to the two people but this food harms someone and this food harm does not harm to the other people so what is the problem there might be a problem with your body there might be a problem with your stomach there might be a problem with your mental health another example is weight loss is problem is not for uh, same for everyone you know some people eat a lot but they don't get uh, don't get fat and some people eat very less still that they get fat so what is the concept behind that how you should think about it if you are looking for this answer then the wellness sense this is the book that you are looking for you should if you are serious about your health if you are serious about understanding the concepts of the health if you are serious about the understanding how food affects our body how you should treat the food then you should pick up this book you know some people fall sick more than other people so why do they fall sick easily or why what is the reason behind the fall they fall sick easily so this is the all answer given in this book this book is more kind of ayurveda this book is more talk about the ayurveda thing what is ayurveda how we, how you should think about the ayurveda and how you can apply ayurveda i know like i have when i talk when i talk to my sister like she is doing doctorate and i when i talk about i already talk about this ayurveda i talk to her about the ayurveda uh, homeopathy and the allopathy that how this thing affect our life which is bad which is bad and then i realized that okay this is what i am something looking for that how ayurveda treats our body how allopathy treats our body or how homeopathy treat our body i have read almost all the articles on this uh, specific topics and have understood a lot of things that our body is not only about the bones only is not about the skin this is a lot more than what we think this book is talk a lot about this because we treat as a body as a skin to have a better skin to have a better hair to have a better physics to have a better you know the personality better personality but we should not think about this we have to go a little beyond we have to think body as a sacred space this is a sense of consciousness so if you have understood that your body is something that sacred space if you treat is as a like sacred space like the way we treat temples that is the same way you have to treat your body then you can have a better life you can lead a better life so this is book all talk about the how you should understand first your body but one of the key concept of the one of the key word that talk about talk this book is talk about is swastha which is known as the self dependency if you like we have heard this word swastha many times but we do not understand that we do not like literally understand how you can use that word or what is the meaning behind that word or how our mental health creates is this is how our mentally try to create this is in our life you know the modern system is way much different than the previous one they i mean the previous system is more about the treating treating the cause than the treating the symptoms so see if i give you the example if you get a headache then you will probably what will you do obviously you will either try to use the balm or you will try to go go to the medical take the painkiller and have have the regular life or you will you will get rid of that headache but you are treating your symptoms not your cause i mean what caused you to have that headache you will not look into this part of your life 
will more of a see that okay you have headache you have this 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 symptoms you have to do you have to take this this of medicine but when we talk about the ayurveda they does not try to treat your symptoms i mean obviously you will have symptoms they will try to analyze your symptoms but they will try try not to work with your symptoms rather ayurveda think about the way that you have to treat about the cause like what caused you to have that headache what what is the cause that because of that you get that headache or what is the cause because of that you are suffering to this this is so ayurveda talk about a lot about the what is the cause not the symptoms that's why what i liked about this book this book is literally filled with asian wisdom how to treat your life how to have a better life in your life i mean if you want to understand that how you can by little changing day to day habits you can make your life better how how by changing the little thoughts or by changing the little daily habits the the food you consume the what is the reason behind that food or how you are think about the sacred space or how you should treat about your body by this if you understand all this then you can be a healthier life you don't have to go for the doctor every day if you have daily routine or if you have a daily uh, daily things if you understand the ayurveda really well or if you treat the food really well you can treat a really good life you can understand a really good life or how you can this book is more of for how you can take care about the yourself how you can lead a healthier life if you want to understand then i will highly suggest you to pick up this book there is a link in the description go and buy this book the wellness sense by the om swami the reason i want you to read this book because uh, we are in the modern era we are facing a lot of problems we are facing the healthcare issue we have diabetes we have cancer and a lot of things but this book is really help you to understand how to how to reason behind the foods how you can change your daily routine and you can lead a really really healthier life so that's all for the today's video if you are new to this go subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon because i try to put videos every week and give the like i talk about the freelancing i talk about the book review i talk about the new stuff which you should know and you can have a great life in your life so if you want me to review any other books put it in the comments or go on the instagram follow me and dm me that okay i want to know about this book i will try to make video on that book and if you are new to this channel there is a podcast also where i interview different tedx speakers ceos from the different different background go check out the podcast that's all for the today's video see you in the next one